Welcome to our channel. For about the last, I don't know, a little over a year, I've been doing a lot of research on a specific topic. And that topic is heavy metal toxicity. You know, when you're out here in an environment like this, it's really hard to, to think about toxins because everything just seems so pure. And actually, one time, uh, this little side creek, we have three creeks on our property here, and this creek that comes down the back of, uh, from the back of our property, we were taking a group of people back there one day looking for wild edibles, and a young girl got very excited because she found what's called a water penny. It's a, a type of a beetle larvae, I believe, and it only lives in the purest of waters. And so even though the waters here are very pure, um, my husband and I did a uh, hair tissue mineral, mineral analysis recently, and my husband was loaded with heavy metals. And we live a pretty clean life. Now, I'm very proactive in uh, detoxing. But let me show you one of the reasons why I think this needs to matter to you. Even way out here in the boondocks in Kentucky, something called geoengineering that's happening worldwide there are days when i can look up and see as many as nine and kaylin said he counted 11 planes one day up there spraying let me tell you why this should matter to you i know some people just sort of check out whenever you use the word chemtrails or geoengineering but, you know, this morning I was thinking about a passage in Revelation. It's in uh, chapter 18, uh, chapter 11, verse 18. And it talks about how in the end of times there will be all this destruction in the world and that God would destroy those that destroy the earth. Now, that's a very significant passage, and it means a lot more to me now than it used to. Uh, I wrote down just a partial list, this is not everything, but this is a partial list of what has been found in the particulates, which are what's called nanoparticles, and if you don't know what a nanoparticle is, it's really small. It's so small, in fact, that you inhale it, and when you do, it's small enough to cross the blood-brain barrier. And that's very scary to think about, because here's a partial, again, partial list of what has been found in the particulates. Uh, in these these uh, these uh, things that are being sprayed, barium, aluminum, cadmium, nickel, desiccated blood, mold spores, and other mycotoxins. That right there enough. I don't need to even go any further. I mean, that is being sprayed. Uh, there's the, uh, aluminum is a heavy metal that's been shown to uh, contribute to Alzheimer's disease. I don't know about you, but I've noticed a huge increase in um, dementia, Alzheimer's disease, and, and, and other neurological issues. And aluminum is indicated in that. Aluminum is found in personal care products as well, like underarm deodorants and stuff like that. Uh, but you know, this is all not all just about chemtrails. There's a lot of other sources of heavy metals in our everyday world that a lot of people don't even think about. You know, here where I live in South Central Kentucky, there's a lot of tobacco grown. And I guess consequently, there's a lot of people in this area that smoke. Um, more than, you know, when my husband is from North Dakota, and yeah, there's people up there that smoke, but like here, it's, it's nearly everyone, it seems. You know, and I'm sure it's not everyone, but it's very common. Arsenic is found in uh, cigarette smoke, and it's worse than secondhand smoke. So even if you don't smoke, but you're exposed to those who do, you're still being exposed to arsenic. Arsenic has some nasty side effects. We'll talk about the symptoms of toxicity in just a minute. But what about tin cans, the, the canned foods that you buy, the, the solder that's used to solder those together is a source of heavy metals. Uh, the uh, soda pops, caffeine uh, containing beverages like tea, coffee, and again soda pops, all these are sources of heavy, heavy metals. Dental fillings, 
If you have any kind of the silver fillings uh, in your mouth, that actually has mercury in it. For those of you who don't know this already, some people it's common knowledge. Um, heavy metals are, I'm going to use a big word, ubiquitous. They're everywhere. They're all around us. And if you think you're not being exposed, think again. Again, let's go back to arsenic. Municipal or city water sources, county water, um, are a very real source of arsenic. I had a, a friend of mine call from Nebraska one time and, and she had arsenic toxicity and come to find out it was it was largely coming from the municipal water. And you think about it when you not only do you drink this, you heat it in maybe aluminum cookware or Teflon or something like that. So cookware is another source of heavy metal toxicity. Um, but you heat this water up and then you shower in it and when you're when you're in the shower of course your skin pores open up the skin is very absorbent that's why things like poultices and transdermal patches work and your body absorbs that and so um, if you think you're not affected by heavy metals think again Heavy metals are what's known as free radicals, which means they're missing an electron on their, their outer circle. And that makes them unstable, so they go wobbling through the body, bumping into stuff, causing damage, looking for that electron to make them stable, stealing electrons from other, and creating more free radicals. It's kind of like a vicious cycle. And so that causes some symptoms in the body. And some of the most common symptoms that let you know that you might want to consider heavy metal toxicity. Uh, one of the most common ones is nausea, uh, of course vomiting, headaches, brain fog and confusion, just can't quite think clear, skin problems, um, uh, heavy metals have an affinity to fat cells, so it, difficulty losing weight. Uh, in fact, that a uh, good uh, side note on this is a lot of times that people that have candida yeast infections that just won't go away and they just can't lose weight and can't get rid of the candida it's because they're heavy metal toxic because the body kind of stores the heavy metals in those fat cells and until you get rid of the heavy metals the body's like I'm not letting go of these fat cells I need this stuff to store all this garbage and so get rid of the garbage and your body will heal basically um, there's a lot of other symptoms uh, that go along with heavy metal toxicity too. Headaches uh, are a very common system, s symptom. Eye disturbances, vision disturbances. I have a friend, uh, he was a plumber, is a plumber, and he, he, he's, I think he retired now, but he still works as a plumber. But um, he developed ocular myasthenia gravis and these heavy metals actually cause, cause neurological damage and so we've been detoxing him from heavy metals and stuff and as long as he's on the detox and stuff his symptoms go away but when he gets off of it and gets busy in his workaday world his symptoms come back and so I've shared all of these things for a purpose because I want to invite you to experience what I believe is a very simple and very effective heavy metal detox. So if you have an interest in your health and uh, maybe you have a loved one that's experiencing some of the symptoms that we talked about, um, I'm going to be launching a Facebook page called Simple Heavy Metals Detox. Um, hopefully this week. I'll try to get it up this week. Um, but like I said, I've been researching for over a year on the most effective and safe form of heavy metals detox. And the interesting thing about this detox is it takes care of pesticides and other issues as well. And if you think that you have a parasite issue, which many of us do, probably most of us, you can always just throw in something for parasites along with the detox. Um, this is very easy to do for those who have to work. Uh, you're not going to be hugging the commode all day. Um, you do need one day where you can stay home and do what we call a calibration uh, to find out your body's need for a certain aspect of the detox. So if you're interested in this, um, contact me. Look up our Facebook page. Like I said, I hope to have it up and running uh, this week. And uh, 
I'll probably be taking a group of people through the detox and give daily instructions and, and guidance of what to do day by day. It lasts 10 days. Uh, I recommend repeating it uh, for three uh, months, three consecutive months, 10, 10 days um, out of each month for three months. And then, uh, you know, there's, there's certain components of the detox that I actually recommend doing on an ongoing basis just because we live in a world that is now a toxic soup that is in great need of redemption, which God has promised. See you on the next video.